Yo, 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 what's good? Let's go. Yo, 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 what's good? I'm Scott. Welcome back to our series where we upload a video every single Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Today, we got something off-white talking to do. This weekend, this past weekend actually, I was in New York, as you guys know, I was there for SneakerCon. And then on Monday, I went around shopping different stores. You guys would have known if you guys follow me on Snapchat, and if you guys wanna do that now, you can go ahead and scan this code right here. But by now, that store's already gone, it's already Friday, and I posted that on Monday, so it's far gone by now. Today, I'm gonna show you guys one of the pickups that I picked up this week on Monday. As you guys already know by the title, it's an off-white shirt, it is this pink one right here, and you guys already saw it in the title, I don't even know why I'm bothering showing you again. But I did cop this over at round two, so big shout out to the people over there, they were really nice, really good prices actually. I did not expect the prices to be that good, especially at a consignment, well, it wasn't even a consignment shop. That's not what they consider themselves. They basically just buy stuff from sellers and then they sell it at their own price. So it's not like they can sign it for other people, but in a way it is a consignment shop. So I don't even know what you want to call it. I don't know what else to call it. So I'm just going to go ahead and call it a consignment shop for now. As you guys can see, there's a pink tee that says off-white right here. And then it has the two little palm trees. On the back, it's pretty much the big off-white X that you see on most shirts. I would not have been a big fan of this shirt if it wasn't for where I'm from. I'm from Miami. So this shirt really does mean a lot to me since the colors do resemble Miami a lot, especially the palm trees. You do have like a Miami dolphin blue. Then you have that pink Miami color and the back like I already showed you guys same thing two big palm trees the big X which covers up the fact that it's off-white and the price that I got this for is ridiculous I got it for hundred and sixty dollars from round two which is a steal this shirt I saw online it went for three hundred and twenty three dollars so I got over half off on the shirt actually no I really didn't because then I paid taxes so I got around half off on the shirt which is a big steal to me why I went for that low I don't know it does not make sense to me but I'm not complaining I know it's authentic because round two only sells authentic products and with it came this sticker attached to it, it sells round two I don't don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I'm probably just gonna give it to my sister like I do with all my other stickers. And also, of course, it comes with this tag. I didn't know that all the products came with this. It comes with this little red tag. I thought it only came with the shoes, but apparently all their products come with it. It hangs from the bottom of the shirt. It actually is clipped on right there. I don't know what to do with this part of the shirt. I'm probably just gonna let it hang. I'm gonna cut this off because that's what you're supposed to do with it. According to Off-White, that's what they say you're supposed to do. You're supposed to just cut it off and then I guess throw it away somewhere. I don't know. There's not really much you can do with this part once you cut it off. It's pretty much just useless. But this part right here, I feel like letting it hang gives it like a little bit of style. I know it looks a little stupid, but it looks even more dumb if you let it hang with all this. On top of that, this would get annoying as it hits your leg. So I'm just gonna let this hang, cut this off. And then as far as this part goes, I'm gonna use it for a keychain. I'm gonna put it on my keys since I did buy some Supreme, which I'm gonna get into another video, which really sucks, but it's all cool. Moving on with the video, the main question is, is it worth buying off-white? And yes, I am in my kitchen, I'm sorry. I had nowhere else to record. The best lighting is in here. So I'm sorry I have like a really bad backdrop. This is most likely gonna be the backdrop for the next two, three weeks while I'm here. And also big shout out to Ben and Johnny Barbershop. Going back on topic, is Off-White worth it? I would have to say, as far as the price point go, it is a high price point, but then you are paying for the name. Just like you're paying high prices for designer brands, you're paying high price for this high luxury street wear. I think that's a category it falls under. Me personally, I did not mind paying the 160 because it is half off the regular price. But if I were to pay full price for this, I don't think I would have done that because I did actually go to the Off-White store in New York. And while I was there, I did not want to purchase any of the shirts or clothing because it was dumb high. I was gonna buy like the little bag strap, the yellow one that says off white, the one that everybody's been copying lately, but that was around $150 for just a little strap that I don't have a bag to put on. So it was pretty much pointless for me to buy, so I didn't get it. And all the shirts were over $200, which I was not looking to spend over $200 on a shirt yet because I do still have to do Christmas shopping. So I was like, you know what? Let me not spend too much. Let me go a little lower on my budget. I wasn't expecting to buy off white, but in the end, price was good, so I bought it. But going back to is it worth it? I would have to say the quality of the shirt is nothing special. It is just like a regular thin shirt. I would not say it's like a Jildan quality because it does not fit like one. It fits nice. It fits a little big. Obviously, that's what off-white clothing is like. It does fit a little bit bigger. It's not a boxy shirt like Fear God or like Yeezy shirts, but it's also not like a slim fit shirt. It's like in between, which I'm fine with. I personally do not like boxy shirts. They do not look good on me. I'm skinny and they just look so wide. They look stupid. As far as the fit goes, it's perfect because it's an in between. It doesn't just fit one category or the other, which is like slim fit category. And then you have like a really boxy category. You have like an in between. Quality of the shirt for the price point, nothing special really nothing special it's a regular shirt all you're really paying for is this right here off white and then the big x on the back or the stripes whatever comes on it you know i would have to say that this right here is cool to use as a keychain which i'm going to do soon and 160 dollars is not really worth the keychain and this little tag is not worth another 160 dollars. well altogether this is not worth 160 dollars. i would say this is like quality wise the most i would pay for this is 50 dollars. but i did 
just pay basically for the brand. And I got a first deal, so I really don't mind. And I got it in my size, which I was surprised. Most shirts there were not my size, so I was happy to have found this and purchased it. So the final verdict is, is it worth it? Yes, if you can spend the money. If you wanna spend the money for the name, go for it. Like if you have it, go for it. But for the average person, I would say no, it is not worth it. The shirt is regular quality. Honestly, babe quality shirts are way better. They're thicker, I love their quality. They seem to last longer and I feel like if you wear this shirt a lot after a few wears, it will begin to get holes, especially after a few washes. Like I said, it's worth it if you have the money. If you don't, no, it's not worth it. I was actually in New York to go shopping since there's not a lot of stores down here that they have up there, especially like Off-White they didn't have. I didn't even buy it from there, but they did have a round two. That's where I picked this up from. They don't have round two down here. They don't even have many consignment shops down here in Florida. And that wraps up today's video. Today's fan of the day does go to Brayden as a row. It's not the first time he is a fan of the day. He's been a fan of the day several times, but he is on the notification squad. Always has it turned on, and I know he's always commenting, so big shout out to you. Don't forget, guys, that I'm selling a Yeezy mask next Wednesday at 12 p.m. Eastern time, so make sure you're on the website that day at that time so you guys can have the chance at copying the mask. If you guys didn't enjoy the video, make sure to give the video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. We are trying to get to 25,000 subscribers by the end of this year. And also, I'm going to be changing the end of this video just a little bit. Instead of saying, stay woke, I'm going to say, keep grinding. It's your boy. Yeah, yeah.